Hey everybody, this is Dave, the shipyard modeler, and I'm working on this PT-109. Thought I'd do a video. I've been taking pictures as I go. This first picture that's uh, sanding the uh, bridge area to convert it into the historically accurate armored bridge, which doesn't have windows in it. Um, and then I follow that with uh, gluing the hull parts together. I do that one of the first things I do. And use the uh, rubber bands to secure it, make sure it's nice and dry before I start working with it. And um, that's really important on this model, by the way, because it will, it will leave gaps if you don't make sure it's secured until it's dry. Now on this I use a really thin down black wash and wash the decks with it and it comes out looking like that. Um, uh, the pigment seeps in and gets in between the planks for final painting. It's also kind of a primer. Um, here I use a little bit thicker but still thin down black to uh, paint up all the raised details on the model. Um, here I've got my putty out and puttied up the bridge. Um, got rid of the window molding up there so it's just a flat armored surface which is historically accurate and uh, sanding that down getting it ready for paint um, it's kind of hard because you have to keep it flat so I didn't quite get enough putty on to cover the whole thing so it took quite a bit of sanding at any rate uh, sanding the side of the deck where the pieces meet together make sure to get that all flat and smooth and I uh, use a box cutter on the torpedo tubes on this Rebel kit, uh, there's excess plastic where they go together. So the easiest way to do it is just scrape them off with with the. That's what I do. Scrape them off with the uh, box cutters and then come back with sandpaper and smooth that out. And uh, here it is, ready to ready to paint before getting to work on the upper decks. You know the detail work. And uh, the next slide is after painting. This is a dry brush paint job, which means, uh, well, you get some paint on your brush and you wipe it off and you wipe it off and you wipe it off until there's hardly any paint on the brush and it's not leaving any streaks and then you work the paint onto the deck and onto your model. And it gives you this effect. As you can see, the uh, primer coat still shows in the gaps between the uh, planks on the deck and also uh, appears as shadowing around details of the torpedo tubes, um, around all the hatches and stuff like that. It comes out really nice. Here's, that, that's a pretty good pick. Gives you a nice effect. Shows you the nice effect on the deck. Now before I'm done, I'll spray flat coat and that'll even up the textures. You can see there's a little bit of change in texture from one part of that deck to another and that'll be uh, cured by putting a layer of flat coat on which will even out all the brush strokes and stuff. For the base I use uh, what's camouflage gray and I think that's uh, Model Master and I uh, tape off the hull and I do one half at a time like so and uh, I do that with a brush and um, got another picture here out the bottom anyway that's as far as I've got and I've got the other half of the hull now and getting ready for the uppers and I'll post a video when I get further along and get this model done Dave, shipyard modeler, checking out. Hope you enjoyed the video.